Every year, news outlets like Niche, Barstool, and Total Frat Move come out with their list for the top 10 party schools in America. But how do they actually make these lists? Is it by student submissions? Is it by random votes? Is there anyone actually verifying if this information is accurate? Or do they just pick paper out of a fucking hat? These were the questions that we were asking ourselves two years ago before we decided to travel the country to over 45 of the most notable party schools. So what makes us the right guys to do this? Considering we were all recent college grads from Canada, we have a non-biased perspective, and if there's one thing we know how to do, it's how to party. So in order for us to judge this fairly, we needed to ask ourselves what makes a great party school. We broke it down to three main factors. Athletics. If you're winning, you've got more to celebrate. <laughs> Better tailgates, better after parties, better vibes. Recall. This is where the stories are built and the memories are made. Who in here try to start and die? Yeah. Considering the drinking age in the US is 21, if you don't have a strong Greek life, you may not be partying for the first three years of your college career. Bar life, where weekend and weekday warriors are crafted. <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah, we're going out tonight, okay? <laughs> it's four in the morning. <laughs> Man, you fucked up! <laughs> this is the backbone of college partying. Frat party gets shut down, hit the bars. Want to get hammered on a random Tuesday, you hit the bars. Football team wins the natty, hit the bars. A great bar life is what separates the men from the boys. Now, before we get into this list, we want to note some honorable mentions that may not be well-rounded in all three categories, but have some world-class party experiences. Indiana University, home for Little 500, also known as the greatest college party week in America. <laughs> of South Carolina, arguably the best tailgating atmosphere in the country, we present to you the frat lots. <laughs> University of California, Santa Barbara, a college that not only parties on the beach, but also has an entire street dedicated to partying. It's pretty tough to beat. Do you believe in love? Uh, I would believe in love, but IV is a bunch of trogs. What is that? Tramp frogs. Tramp frogs. Yeah, so basically, when all the groupies that want to come over and hit the party, and they just are looking for dick. Ohio University, one of the most unique spring semesters because of fest season, where every weekend the entire school shows out and blows out. Now let's put an end to this nonsense of putting together lists without putting in the work. Starting off with number 10, the University of Kansas. One, yeah, let's go. Dude. All right. Oh my God. Chase for. <laughs> no, okay. Oh, baby one. Hey, it's, just, it's first step. Oh, oh my God. God. Oh my oh, god, you gotta right. Right. Oh, yeah. No, no, Please. no. No, tap out, let me know. Yeah. No. <laughs> oh, oh, dude. Oh, no. This kid's too beast. Right. He's got it. This guy's. Oh, oh my man. god. You got it, Chip. I don't know you if I can, but. Christian, don't you forget this, Chip. Let's go. Allen Fieldhouse should be the standard of college basketball. <laughs> February, we got the honor of seeing Kansas take on Baylor in a back and forth game where the entire arena stayed on their feet for the whole game and ignited the Jayhawk comeback. <laughs> Who saw this coming? I mean, down 13 at halftime. And for being in the middle of buttfuck nowhere, surprisingly, Kansas has some of the cleanest fraternity houses in the country. Not Philippe, that's the type that put me in my mood. In my she know that I'm up, but she come cool for me. She know how to put me in my groove. Okay. Paired with a three-headed snake in the bowl, the wheel, and the hawk, they have a bar scene that is tight-knit close and gets the people going. <laughs> Tidying up at number nine, we have Ole Miss, home to the infamous Grove, where some may say invented what we now call the tailgate. We are headed to the infamous Grove right now, tense galore. Some may say this is the greatest tailgate in the country. This guy couldn't understand me because he said I had a Canadian accent. Do I have an accent? Yes. What do you guys hate most about Alabama fans? I'm an Alabama fan. Incest? Yes. Yeah, that. Would you ever fuck your cousin? No. Me. No. no. I would. 
You would fuck. My cousin's kind of hot. They're the fucking worst people on the earth. Why? First of all, my brother is an Alabama fan, so that's that's reason one. They're all fucking cousin fuckers. So. Go! Oh my god. Oh shit. What's the biggest lie you've ever told your parents? I didn't fuck my sister's ex-boyfriend. My parents had no idea I put an Oreo mask. They had no fucking idea. Fuck the time! Fuck the time! Fuck the time! Fuck the time! Go, I go. Keep it going. The fuck is that? Combined with a Greek life so strong that you need to storm parties to actually get in them. We're rushing. Go! We're storming the front parties. Let's go. They know we're on time. We're on time. So and a central location known as the square for one-way access to what seems as unlimited bars and all-time vibes within walking distance. Walking in at number eight, Tennessee. An overall top-tier athletic school in the big three. Baseball, basketball, and football. Oh, holy shit. This is our locker room. This is our weight room. So we work out four days a week, Monday, Tuesday, Thursday, Friday. Come in here, watch video from the game before, practice, scrimmages, whatever. Nice little open area. We do a lot of things with these Vipers and these Kaiser machines. It's the practice, so. Practice, yeah. Okay. How often are you guys in here? Every day? Every day. Every single yeah. day? Let me get back to this paper. I'm a couple bands down and I'm trying to get back. Great mustache. Richardson pressured. Throws at the last moment and it's intercepted by the volunteers. Not to mention a Greek life so passionate that they choose not to eat on Saturdays. Hey, shout out No Food Saturday. Big weekend. Let's get after it. Fuck Florida. No Food Saturday. Dude, it's fucking game day, dude. Would you let your daughter have an OnlyFans? Like, you know, it gets complicated, but like. If I get some of the profit, that's money. Okay, this is my child, right? So I'm shooting for at least 25%. Profit, I'm a businessman. Let's fucking go. You're a businessman. I'm a big fan of Shark Tank. You always take 51%, no matter what. Give me 51%. Oh, 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 hey, fuck your sister. Can we relax? Let's relax on that. I know you fucked my sister, but okay. that's my sister. Instead of having sex, he's made love to your sister. Oh, 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 and it may not be home to Broadway, but the people down here sure know how to get rowdy. Watch out, my outfit's ridiculous. In the club looking so conspicuous. And rowdy. in at number seven we have the harvard of the west arizona you know this is a good damn party school and rob gronkowski planted his seeds here back in 07 although we didn't see a football game the school has recently become notorious for basketball and what better game to watch than the in-state rival asu the boys had to kick this one off with some mimosas i'm real creative and stylish f in my denim i send it here make a spin em. and i just flew back from la on the day yesterday i go back and forth like a big <laughs> Nothing screams Tucson more than top tier production and smoking hot girls. But what sets this school from the rest is a nightlife like no other that defines the generacy to the max. I'm ready to have a good time. I just pulled Trig. Fuck it. Let's go, baby. I'm pushing Peter, my favorite alphabet. She let me do it, I please on my alphabet. When you're low, you paid off, you don't have to tell. Chopping in at number six. 
Florida. The Swamp is one of the most iconic and grimiest stadiums in the country, but before we made our way to another in-state rivalry game versus FSU, we had to stop by what they call the Fork. What's the craziest thing you've seen or done at a party? Bro, like three midgets in a circle? Bro, taking a fucking whole bottle, three of them, just shoving it, taking it down, bro. The US to Taiwan, now who can say that? I wanna play back. Mama knew I was a needle in a haystack. Bro, like Wolf of Wall Street shit. Taking the midgets, just throwing them into the fucking bucket, running around. Dude. I don't know what party this guy's going to, but that's <laughs> unreal. Staying on brand, we decided to go 300 cups deep with some of the boys from Kappa Steak, and shit just got fucking weird. Oh, oh, clean cut, dude. Oh, yes! And when you're a school down in the dirty south, there is no such thing as a bad nightlife. I need the high throw that to the side. Yo. I get those goosebumps every time, yeah. When you're not around, when you throw that to the side. Yo. Starting in at number five, Arizona State. Known for things that will concern a father and pray that you never have a daughter, this school just breeds them differently. An atmosphere like no other. Perfect forecast for a storm. <laughs> But typically in Tempe, the sun is shining and darty season is a year-round thing. Yeah, yeah. Hey, I remember syrup sandwiches and crime allowances. Vanessa nigga with some counterfeits, but now I'm counting this. Parmesan with my accountant lives. In fact, I'm down in this. Do say with my boobay tastes like Kool-Aid for the end. What's the most awkward thing that's happened to you in bed? I'm a guy broke my rib while we fucked. If I quit this season, I still be the greatest funk. My left stroke just went viral. Having downtown Scottsdale as a second option to Mill Street is quite possibly the greatest one-two punch since Mayweather in 02. 98, 98, 98, 98, 98, 98, 98, 98, 98, 98, 98, 98, 98, 98, 98, 98, 98, 98, 98, 98, 98, 98, 98, 98, 98, 98, 98, 98, 98, 98, 98, 98, 98, 98, 98, 98, 98, 98, 98, 98, 98, 98, 98, 98, 98, 98, 98, 98, Clubbing hard, fucking women, they ain't much to do. Take it out of the way here! Fuck the police! Fuck these motherfuckers! With a student population bigger than most towns in America, this creates a tailgate atmosphere so big you may get lost. Probably one of the biggest tailgates we've ever been to. Definitely one of the biggest. We just had a fucking fan come up about yay high, maybe 12, 13, 14 max years old. He just looks at Chip, he's like, Chip? Might have been the cutest thing I've ever seen in my life. <laughs> Can I get one of them? You want one of my drinks? Oh, come on! Hey, rock, paper, scissors, just one of them. Rock, paper, scissors, shoot! Rock, paper, scissors, shoot! Oh! House is so gritty that it will make you feel like you're on cloud nine. Diamonds they wavy, not racist. Yeah, pull up, I hop and get facelift. Yeah, my niggas they really take shit. Yeah, everything I do is This is, as people were saying, the best part of the crib. Took a number, but before I text her back, I'll probably send a messenger. With so many people in state college, you're bound to have some good bar life, but one bar sets the tone for the difference between good and great. <laughs> Nah, 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 nah. Every day. It's like a 
at number three, we have LSU. Home to Libby Dunn, Shaq, and Joe motherfucking Burrow. This weekend defined the peak college experience. Ready? Oh! 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 I'm on an island. I'm on an island. Hey, fuck you. Can't do it. I'm Thomas, and I throw dots. Oh, 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 yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. 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 We've been looking for you all day. What do you hate most about Alabama fans? They all fuck their cousins and they're pieces of shit. Nick Saban's a bitch for losing at LSU, that's one. The cousin we love, man. Yeah, they're cousin fuckers. And I hate Nick Saban. Why do you hate Nick Saban? Dude, he left LSU. He left LSU for Bama. He fucked us over. They come over here and they think they can just come mingle and tailgate. Like, shut the fuck up, say something. I'm gonna hit you, for real. Would you swing? Eat at headbutt. Headbutt, sure. elbow move. Headbutt, headbutt, grab left arm, well, boom. All right, they're stumbling, they're stumbling, Roll shoulders, whoa! This day had everything in store for what could be the perfect storyline. Daniels, walks to the end zone, Fourth quarter with the field goal to force overtime. Wendell Williams puts Alabama to score. Keeper escapes, makes a cut. Daniels in space. He'll score. We're going for the fucking win. We're going for the fucking win. Daniels for the win. Witnessing one of the greatest college football games of all time, Baton Rouge boasts the undisputed best bar life in the nation. We present to you Tigerland. <laughs> Chopping in at number two, we have Florida State. The hype train down in Tallahassee was always a real thing. With tons of videos flooded across the internet, we knew what to expect. First row for the most hostile yet passionate student section to date, we were in for a movie-like ending. Travis going up top. The Seminole strike! Looking for Douglas again, so now fourth and 14 with 105 to go. The 25. Travis delivers. Caught! Parchment! Down to the one! Travis again. Receiver 
at the 44. Two seconds to go. Rambo, they got to get to work quickly. Oh, wow. He took a long time before yeah, spiking. It took did. three steps on the drop pass. Mike Norvell seems to be indicating should be zero time left. In order for the quarterback to spike the ball, there has to be three seconds on the clock. There were two. Therefore, the ball game is over. Oh, my Lord. What an inglorious ending for the Hurricanes. Similar to what is talked about online, FSU has undoubtedly the best looking women in the country. Don't know where they came from, and to be honest, I don't really care, but it's our job to report what we see, and we ain't no motherfucking liars. Slide on a pimp gang with my pinky ring. A lot of gang, a lot of bitches in the icy chain. While you claim that you rich, that's a false claim. I'll be straight to the whip, no baggage claim. Whole lot of styles, can't even pronounce the name. You ain't got no style, see you on my Instagram. I'll be rocking it like it's fresh out the pan. Only when I'm taking pics, I'm the middle man. We'd be lying though if we didn't say this is the most versatile yet premium nightlife in the country. Just follow me, cause we need a little controversy. Confidently stomping in at number one, the greatest party school in America is the University of Alabama. From the best athletics to the nicest, most expensive and prestigious Greek life to a street of bars packed like no other, this school can do it all at the highest level. Homecoming weekend where every member of the machine makes an appearance to ensure an Alabama W paired with a smoked cigar and Peter Millar is the only option. Rolling down a backwoods, Tennessee byway. One arm on the wheel. How hard is Bama going to rail the shit out of Tennessee today? I want you to picture Johnny Sims and the smallest porn star you can think of. What do you guys know about the machine? It is not an affiliated organization with the University of Alabama. The machine, I, I, that's a bad question. Like, I don't even, that's not a thing. Yeah. A better question and I'll answer. The machine is. Okay. Meep, meep. Man, 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 man. Where is he going? Where is he going, dude? The motherfucking machine y'all talking about? Why are you shaking, dude? Why are you shaking, dude? I might have to leave on that one. Me and him are uh, Eskimo brothers with that girl. Bonnie, the awesome yeah, bro. Hey, this is a lovely woman. Okay, I gotta ask who is better. Mmm. <laughs> you can be honest. This is where honesty comes out in life. Mm. Tank. Oh! Listen, when the lights come on, I shine, okay? Oh, we're in that friend group in a second. Nice. For this life, I cannot change. In the hills, keep off in the main. Eminem, sweet like candy cane. Considering the machine runs the town of Tuscaloosa, these Greek houses are not only multi million dollar mansions. Definitely the biggest frat we've seen in this entire trip, but this entire row is just fucking mansions. Multi million dollar houses. This is our, uh, our mural from our first original house. It's like worth a couple million dollars. Wait, this wow. is a couple mil? Yeah, that is. Really nice. They're also able to throw the biggest ragers on their fucking front lawn. Well done! Fuck Tennessee! Fuck Tennessee! Fuck Tennessee! Magic in me. T-Town does it right. Being able to go out any day of the week and be in for a great damn time is absolutely absurd and mostly unheard of at any other school. is the top
top 10 party schools in America. Not up for debate. If Niche Barstool or Total Frat Move don't like it, I like to see them do what we just did. Buzzing Across America Season 5, coming soon. Down the street.